Welcome to step five, why TPLO? As you know, we presented several treatment options for ACL injury in dogs. Well, why do we choose to highlight the TPLO procedure? In order to explain that, let's first talk about what TPLO stands for, tibial plateau leveling osteotomy. This is sort of a fancy way of saying we're going to cut the bone in order to level the top of the tibia. In the image on the left, you can see a red line showing the tibial plateau slope. In the image on the right, you can see that same line, now green, showing that the slope has been leveled or decreased. Decreasing the tibial plateau slope stabilizes the ACL deficient knee. The TPLO consists of a bone plate and generally for most dogs, six screws. We'll talk in just a little bit about the fact that we now use locking screws instead of non-locking screws for five out of the six holes in the bone plate. Here is a diagram of the TPLO bone plate with its six screws and two x-rays, a lateral x-ray and a cranial caudal x-ray or an x-ray as if the dog is looking at you. One of the benefits of the TPLO is that these bone plates come in a variety of sizes. We have bone plates as small as a US quarter and jumbo plates that are large enough for dogs weighing over 150 pounds. Here's an image of an arthroscopic picture taken from within a dog's knee. You can see in the image the high definition camera can show the torn fibers the partially torn fibers of an ACL. The same ACL months later after a tibial plateau leveling osteotomy. We feel that leveling the tibial plateau decreases the strain on the ACL ligament and may allow for some partially torn ligaments to remain intact and thus still serve function. We want to demonstrate the difference between a locking and a non-locking bone screw. When we insert a locking bone screw into the bone plate, you can see that the threads engage one another and the screw does not move after insertion. When a non-locking screw is inserted into a similar hole, it remains loose even after the best of tightenings. The advent of locking screws has significantly decreased complications associated with the tibial plateau leveling osteotomy procedure. Some additional benefits of the TPLO are that it slows the progression of arthritis, also known as degenerative joint disease. The TPLO procedure helps to retain range of motion when compared to the extracapsular technique known as the lateral suture that was previously described. A faster recovery with the TPLO is beneficial. However, we're not just focused on a faster recovery, we want that recovery to last and be complete. The TPLO is known for both, both a fast recovery and a long lasting complete recovery. It's important to know that many of the sources on the internet that dislike the TPLO procedure will refer to old techniques before the invention of locking bone screws. The use of locking screws has significantly reduced any bone or implant related complications. As with any surgical procedure, the risk of infection remains. We are unable to eliminate infection in all TPLO procedures. The most common cause of an infection associated with TPLO surgery is your pet licking the surgical site. If you can prevent your pet from licking the surgical site and your pet does not have a history of infections, it's unlikely they will experience one with their TPLO surgery. Talk with your surgeon about how to identify early signs of an infection and most infections are very treatable. If the bone plate becomes infected with bacteria, it can be removed after the bones are healed without undoing or reversing the surgical correction. Meaning that 
the TPLO procedure is permanent once the bone has healed, and thus the metal can be removed to reduce or eliminate any infection potential. In the text below this video, we have multiple peer-reviewed studies that document the benefits of TPLO over some of the other options. Please see that information for more details.